Hi everybody, this is Guido with Lenovo and I'm here with the IdeaPad 310 notebook. Today we are going to be replacing the wireless LAN card. The process will take about 10 minutes and you may want to have a little experience working on computers before attempting this. The tools required will be a Phillips screwdriver and a plastic prank tool. Before you continue, you want to make sure that you are protected against electrostatic discharge or ESD. For more information on ESD, click the link in the description. In order to prepare for working on your machine, make sure you completely shut down the system and you disconnect all of the cables and accessories from the computer once it has completely powered down. You can now place the machine on a flat, hard surface in order to begin. Now that we are ready, let's get started. First, you will have to disable the internal battery. Open the lid, then press these three keys on the keyboard. The function key S and V. Good. Now press the power button again. If the machine stays powered off, then you have successfully disabled the internal battery. Now close the lid and turn the machine over. In order to replace the wireless adapter, first we need to remove the cover. So let's remove one screw here and then pry open the cover. Now, using a non-metallic tool like a spudger, disconnect the antenna leads. Then remove one screw. And last, pull out the module and remove it. Now, we take our new wireless module out of its anti-static bag. And then, looking at the notch for alignment, we insert it into its port. We make sure the cables are out of the way. And we secure the wireless module with the screw. And now we have to connect the antenna leads. Look at the colors on this label, the black main is the black cable which has to be connected here. So we take the black cable and we align the connector and then the other antenna lead. All right, last we need to replace the cover, engage the cover from the bottom side then press to snap it into place. And install one screw here. Last, we need to plug the power adapter again in order to re-enable the internal battery.